Hey guys, in front of me here I have the Sony Tablet S. Um, I'm wanting to show you this really cool feature where the tablet can be used as a universal remote. Um, you might be able to see there's a bit of an icon here, it almost looks like a Wi-Fi icon. And when you click on this icon it sort of brings up a mini remote in the top left hand corner here which you can drag around a bit. Um, I currently only have my TV connected to it since I only have my TV and Xbox in my room and you can't connect the Xbox to it unfortunately. So I've got my TV here and I'm now going to turn my TV on using the on and off button here. And as you should be able to see my TV is now turning on. Let's make sure it's all up and running yet that's turned on. And I can adjust things like the volume. So if I click the volume I can adjust the volume. I can adjust um, the channel by going up and down. Um, what else? I can adjust the input. See if I click input that brings up the input menu on my TV. And I also have the option of muting my TV. Um, so that's sort of the basic remote which you should be able to access when in pretty much any app. Let me just open up another app and see if I can access it whilst in another app. Whoops. Wrong button. Okay, so let me open up the Android market and yep, I still have access to the remote when I'm in another app and I can just drag it around and close it. And if you want to open up the full remote control app, you can either find it in um, you know, your app drawer or you can click this arrow in the top right hand corner which will take you to the full remote control. So as you can see we pretty much have the same options and a few others. So we have the option for the TV guide. Which brings up the TV guide. And I have the option to return to exit the TV guide. Um, I can go directly to a channel by clicking the number. Um, we have these sort of buttons over here, which, you know, their functions change depending on what channel you are. Um, and yeah, we also have a few other options over here. Um, I haven't tested them all. The picture in picture seems to work. Uh, teletext seems to work. But yeah, they pretty much all seem to work, really. Uh, how do I turn teletext off? That seems to have worked. So yeah, the app um, seems to work really well. And you can also um, select um, gestures to use. So for volume up, you can swipe up. And to turn the volume down, you can swipe down. To change the channel up, you can swipe right. To change the channel down, you can swipe left. You know, it's um, a pretty neat feature. And you can go to the device list. So I've got my Samsung TV there. You can register a new device. They have a simple, easy registration or you can learn from a remote control. I haven't tried learning from my Xbox um, infrared or in yeah, infrared remote control yet. I might give that a try and see if it works. It probably won't. So yeah, you can select um, the type of device. It seems to be compatible with cable devices, satellite boxes. DVDs, VCRs, um, you know, iPod docks, Blu-ray players, etc. A number of different devices and projectors. And you can select the manufacturer from a long list. So it supports a lot of different um, devices. Let me just um, get out of this. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this um, video really. I really like this um, feature. Um, it makes me think twice about having an iPad. It's a really cool feature. I wish that more tablets and even mobile phones had this, um, you know, infrared um, sensor built into them. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask me. And thanks for watching.